Hey, what's up everyone? Today I want to share with you one of my personal favorite farms, the Twisted. It's pretty relaxed, easily clears 7 to 8 div an hour, and set up properly, and it's one of the main ways I generate currency in Path of Exile. I'm going to show you how exactly I set up the runs, which maps to choose, and share the profits I made over the course of 400 Elder Guardians. If you're only interested in the profit margins, I've included timestamps in the video, so you can skip right to it. Let's dig in. First off, what exactly is it that we are doing? And the answer is, we're horizoning for extremely short map layouts for each tier of map that Elder Guardians can roll, T14 through 16, and speedrunning the map to the boss. Once we're there, we one-shot the boss and move on. When we're ready for the invitation, I roll them to a minimum of 65 quant, and Val them in hopes they turn unID'd or 8 mod up to 120% quant, and then rinse and repeat. It sounds pretty simple, but optimizing for it is where a lot of the profit comes from, and reduces some of the general frustration people have with the farm. Before we get into how exactly to do this farm, I want to share the top line profit numbers. So I recorded each run, and at the end it came out to be around 7.5 div an hour. Now this is with an estimated time of 12 hours, that's super generous. I think it was closer to 10.5 or maybe 11 hours, but there's some amount of friction involved in bulk purchasing maps off TFT, even when you're buying you know, 90 or 100 at a time. And then also uh, the time to purchase 30 invitations takes a little bit of time. Horizon orbing is pretty fast and I'll show you a technique that you can use in order to do that very quickly. But I just wanted to share the top line profits before we get too far. Now, most of the profit came from the frags and the writs. I generated 55 and a half writs and 126 elder fragments uh, full sets. Um, there's some other nice drops in these maps and these are fairly consistent. So orb of conflict, invitations themselves. I didn't quite fully sustain them. I ended up around 70 of 100. Uh, and, you know, I wish there was some way to fix that, but the new quant nodes in the Atlas don't actually up seem to apply to the Elder Guardians, just like some of the other map sections don't. Um, and then Awakened Gems are also really nice. So I had 16 Awakened Gems drop, and I think four of them sold for a reasonable amount. Um, it's around 10% of the total profit, so not a crazy amount, but you know they're nice to have. And especially in the first week of League, they're very expensive as people are getting their characters spun up. Eldritch K, another nice div card that drops. This is, you can turn in for Uber Elder Fragments, and um, I always do that. And then other invitations I randomly also drop, like Elder Slayers or Formed. Um, yeah, so pretty good. I feel like this this farm is super chill. You just sort of speed rush the boss and then you get to relax for a second while the animation happens. And then you go into the boss arena, one shot the boss, wait another couple seconds. It's really, really pretty chill. Like you can watch Netflix while you do this if you don't want to uh, super engage with it. Um, it's totally reasonable to do that. And that's one of the reasons I like, I, I can, if I want to do something that is low energy, I can turn my brain off and do this. Okay, what do we need to get started? The answer is a bunch of horizon orbs, a bunch of maps, and a few twisted invites. Generally, you're not going to quite sustain them. I found that I roughly three quarters of the time will drop a twisted invitation, so you're probably going to buy them. The best way to do that is to go to the trade site and buy them in bulk, uh, and not just as one-offs. It's just faster that way. It's worth the extra one or two C that you'll pay for them in quantities of three or four. And then for maps, I buy them in bulk off of TFT. Um, this set of maps, I paid 13C per map, and generally what I'll do is I'll put a want to buy ad in the want to buy channel and just say want to buy 13, uh, or want to buy Elder Guardians, not corrupt, and that part is important, not corrupt, because you can't Horizon Orb a corrupted map. And then generally people will message me over time, uh, you know, I've done large trades, uh, 50, 60, uh, 90 plus maps, it's usually pretty easy to fill up, and I have to take the ad down. So the best way to do this is to roll all the maps to the fastest possible layouts to the boss for each tier of maps. So T14, 15, and 16, the best maps are Core, Coves, and Barrows. Now, um, those are naturally rolled uh, or naturally tiered maps. And what that means is when you Horizon or a T14 map, it will only roll the set of maps that are naturally T14. So there's only like five or six maybe, or maybe four um, that the map can actually switch to. So you're not going to have to use that many horizon orbs. And um, the way to do this very quickly is to use highlight items. So we're going to go core, barrow, and coves. And you'll see we have, we've got some already. 
And I just pull these out to make it easier to not click on them. And then we're going to go and hit them all with these. We've got some hits. See, this doesn't take very long to do for a large number of maps. We've got a corrupted one. We'll have to run Tropical Island, but that's okay. There we go. Now we have rolled 25 maps to be uh, those three layouts. And then I don't like regen because it slows me down. And then we're going to just pull them into our inventory. I like to set them up. Uh, 25 is the number, I, or 20 is the number I use because uh, it stacks nicely in, in here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll run these maps straight uh, with the Maven watching. Now, one question I'm sure to get is, what does the Atlas look like for this? And the answer is, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Now, in my Atlas, I have taken the entire quant wheel, the rarity and quant wheel in the center, and then all of these up at the top. The top rows will grant a 2% increased effective modifiers for your non-unique maps. Um, this just boosts the quant in the map itself. So I'm sort of hoping for a lucky drop. It doesn't impact the fragments. It doesn't appear to impact the invitation itself. Um, I also grab these, so Shaper and Elder Influence pack size to, again, boost up the number of monsters in the map. I am not clearing or killing the map, but every now and again I do kill something, so it's sort of a side benefit. Now, the thing that I do do in my maps is I'm working on my challenges, and so right now I'm set up to work on my Abyss and Harvest challenges, so you can see that here. But basically, there's not a lot that can impact the main profit centers for the Twisted. So you can kind of have some freedom to do whatever you want in your Atlas. One other really important thing is, and I know it's popular in Shaper Guardian farming, Informed, is to use the sextant that drops a Shaper Guardian map. Now, that works in Shaper Guardians, but does not work for Elder Guardians because they are not considered the final map boss. And for that reason, I think these um, nodes that improve the chance to drop a Maven invitation similarly do not help. I've done uh, large sets of data with Twisted in previous leagues, and it's always been around three quarter uh, drop. And now I had a uh, high quant in every map. I think I was you know, 130, 140, 160% quant all the maps. And it still was a pretty consistent three quarters of the time I'll, I'll drop in Twisted invitation in the rotation. So. Um, don't use the sextant, it's not gonna work, save your money. Core is gonna be the easiest one to run quickly. Now, core is always going to be down and to the left and then a hook up or down to the left and then a, um, a shorter hook up. So a phasing flask might be nice here, but I'm just lazy about it. It's always gonna be down and to the left and then this hook up. Now, sometimes you're gonna have to go a little bit down right first, but it's always gonna be this pattern and this path. So down, down into the left and then up. Let's take a look at how to run Barrows efficiently. Now Barrows is sort of a wild card. There are a few different layouts, but the main thing to know is that there are a few tombs which are not the arena. And then there is one that is the arena. Now, normally what I'll do is I'll run in a circle and look for it. And there is a really specific shape. Now that is always gonna be a tomb or that shape will always be a tomb. Uh, and this long sort of uh, long stretch of the map here is always going to be associated with the arena. Now, sometimes it's to the lower left, sometimes it's to the upper right, sometimes the map is oriented differently. But usually if I run in a counterclockwise circle, I'll come across this really long stretch of the map that shows me where the arena is. I'm going to show you how to run coves really quickly. So coves is, was famous from a previous league for being uh, able to run like 120 or 140 maps per hour. It, it was just insane. But the basics are, there are four different locations for the boss. Now, where you start is always here. <clears throat> He's either going to be in the upper left, in the lower left, the upper right, or the lower right. And these rock formations right here are clues to how you can get to the boss very quickly. Now the first clue is going to be if this lower rock here, so you'll see this rock right here, if it is higher than the right rock, it's, it's gonna to be to the upper left. If it's lower, you have to go down here, and then you have a couple choices to make. So if um, the rock is flat this way, it's going to be to the right, 
and then there is a um, sort of long oblong rock if you see this shape on the right then it's going to be the upper right so this is the farthest you'll have to travel for the boss and it takes generally under 10 seconds to get there um, there's a really nice guide on how to do this efficiently on reddit i'll link it in the description below read that if you have any questions but it's it's you're going to run like five maps and then understand that this is very comfortable to do very quickly Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, I think I've shared everything that you need in order to successfully execute the farm. I've been doing this for weeks and I've been doing this for many, many leagues. Uh, I think I started doing this in Ritual in 3.13 and always been a very nice profit center. I highly recommend it. It's very relaxed. Now, um, I'm gonna show you a full rotation here just to show that I am um, being honest about how long it takes to, to run one of these. Uh, when you use Barrows, Coves, and core and I have chosen one of each for this rotation and then there's some random fourth map and I'll do the invitation at the end. I believe this this full rotation takes me six minutes and eight seconds. Um, it's very straightforward. I'm using my own build that I league started, the self chill explosive trap trickster and it's it's very relaxed and comfortable. Anyway, I hope this was really helpful for you. I'm not going to do voiceover for the remainder of this but um, feel free to tune away if you if you don't want to watch the full full rotation but yeah i hope you're having a great league and we'll catch you in the next video